no, crack open a beer. Got just Pearl and Backer pills today. So if anyone is out there, hello. Hope everyone's doing okay. Excuse me whilst I pour out a beer. There we go. Doesn't look like anyone's there yet. Oh, one person watching. Good afternoon, my little brother, Ryan. And hello, Brian. Hope we're all okay. Let's see, at the moment, can't exactly go to the pub for a drink, so. Let's have a virtual pub instead. Got anything nice for your lunch today, then, Brian? Obviously, not a liquid lunch, I imagine, but so, how's everyone doing? What are we all drinking? If you are drinking. Good afternoon, JB. Hope you're well. How was your uh, beer on Frosties for breakfast yesterday? I know the feeling, Brian. Hi. Okay. What have we all got to drink? I'm just having a nice, simple Pearl and Backer today. Fairly cheap, but it's not bad for the price, really, is it? Uh, starting to get back to normal then a bit, Brian, hopefully. Oh, one thing I can't stand coconut water. I can drink coconut milk easily, but not coconut water. Good afternoon, John. How are you today? Sounds good, JB. I've not had that one myself, but I am looking forward to trying it at some point. Oh, we've got nine people in at the moment. Eleven. Oh, it's going up. How is everyone on this cold Sunday afternoon? Well, it's certainly cold down here in Somerset anyway. I'm not surprised you've got a little bit of a hangover, John. Went quite a bit later than I thought you were going to last night. Hello, Phil. How are you? Oh, I don't, I'm not going to use your your new name that you came up with yesterday, but it's good to see you. What are you drinking? Uh, I'm sure you've probably noticed, but I've actually bothered to grab me glasses today, so I don't have to keep doing this every time I want to look at a comment. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that was funny, though. Hello, Scott. Hope you're doing well. Hope Leah's birthday party went really well yesterday. I've been uh, really enjoying your advent calendar videos. Bear with me. Just move that out the way a second. There we go. John, if you want to come on, just feel free. Hi. Okay, well, do the old usual. Where is everyone? What are you drinking? Are you drinking? Are you having a good day? Oh, that's good to hear, Scott. Certainly needs it this year, doesn't she? I know a lot of you've all had your Christmas decks up for a while, but don't worry, I've got mine up. There we go, there's Santa slash Odin on the mantelpiece there. Oh, feel free, Scott, anytime you like. I hope you're enjoying your lunch, Brian. If you haven't subscribed to Brian's channel, do so. It's a fantastic channel. Uh, yeah, I, I know that feeling. Not for me today, but I've got tomorrow off. But punk's all right as an easy drinker. I'm sure Scott will say the same. Hello, Paul. How are you doing, mate? Hope you're well. What are you drinking, Paul? I know you've uh, probably got the old football on at the moment. Likewise, if you haven't subscribed to either Paul or Scott's channels, do so. They're both fantastic. And John's too. Uh, well, for me, JB, that's about as much as I'll go for. Don't put a tree up anymore. I'm sure Tyrion will just pull it down. But I know the feeling about everyone out doing each other. There's a house a few doors down, which it literally looks like Blackpool Illuminations. Now it looks like my little brother is still going with his singing along to songs from Lord of the Rings. So. I hope we're all doing well today. Like I say, this is just a little sit down. Can't go to the pub. So, well, you could if you wanted a scotch egg, I suppose. But if you do want to sit down, have a pint and have a drink with me, then feel free. Looks like we've got a special guest in. Definitely special. Special needs of our special guest. <laughs> you are. Good afternoon, Scott. How are you doing? A bulge. Yeah. I'll give you about 20 minutes, mate, because um, I've actually got something going on about half past four. Um, you feel free. 
Uh, we've got um, we've recorded this morning, which is going out at half past four. Um, Dave the Blue Van Man set us where me, Chris the Butcher, and Ben Bolt's uh, a challenge to cook the Elvis sandwich. Uh, what, what's that? A sandwich on the loo? <laughs> I can, having, having made the sandwich today, I can understand why Elvis died, if I'm honest. <laughs> Can you do me a favour? Can you just can you um turn the so there's no feedback there on the telly? Yeah. No, I haven't. What's he put? Uh, All right, okay. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, that's going out at half four. So uh, Chris the Butcher's one's going out at the same time. So that should be quite interesting. Uh, I will definitely uh, watch that video when I finish up here. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> okay. JB says hello to Scott there. Hello, Jonathan. Um, absolutely loved your live at six uh, thirty-eight yesterday morning. I thought it was absolutely cracking. <laughs> what uh, did, he mentioned it when I was live with Chris the Butcher on um, on Friday night, and he said that he was um, he was he was going to do one on uh, Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and I said he wouldn't do it. And then bless his heart, he said, "Well, I'll do one tomorrow then." So he got, for, for, for play, got up and did it, and it was. Um, Pretty good to be fair. What do you have? He had um, the wake up smell that goes on his um, frosties or something, didn't he? Right, it certainly had me in stitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get to that. Don't worry. And we have another special guest. Oh, no, no, we don't. Um, I see Simo's um, in, in the chat. I see you're struggling, mate. Um, you have me on Facebook. You need anything from either me or Wanda, then you shout. So much a great guy. Yeah. Uh, Brian says hello, Scott. Hello, Brian. Have you all right, mate? Have you doing? He's on his lunch break. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was uh, just talking about that. Nine percent stay puffed. I like that. I, I do like. Um... I like Paul's uh, Saturday afternoon um, lives with Abby. They're they're good fun. Uh, it's a nice little chill out, isn't it? Nice, not nice fan, uh, not nice couple, Paul and Abby. Um, a lot of time for those two, um, and quite a giggle. I, I sent him a message, private message, actually, because um, just ribbing ribbing him about something that was uh, said on his on his live yesterday because he didn't realise, and uh, it, it amused me. And then I was, I was I was at Tesco's. I had to pop up to Tesco's, and um, was still watching a bit. And he was trying, couldn't work out to moderate it, so I actually rung him to let him know because obviously I was driving and couldn't sort of <laughs> try to help him out a bit. God, that did make me laugh, I have to say. And of course, who says low, low, low? <laughs> that was that was the word of the day yesterday. Low, apparently. <laughs> Right, uh, what's JB got there? Went well with Frosties. Next time, Guinness and Cocoa Pops. Guinness and Cocoa Pops, from What do you reckon? Guinness and Cocoa Pops. So, you know, um, you know JB was doing the um, live yesterday morning. He had the wake up as well the goes. He actually poured that on his own um, Frosties. Well, we had that Cocoa Pops stout from the Seven Brewery. Do, yeah, that's absolutely true. They, we did, they that's a great video, that was. Do they do another one, Rice Krispies. They do a Rice Krispies one as well, apparently, S43. No, it's brother, so Seven Brothers, isn't it? Yeah, Seven Brothers Brewery. Pop one. Pop Isn't it? Yeah. And no, it's a Cocoa Pop Pale Ale. Was that? Yeah. Oh, I think so. I don't know. I thought it was the so was it yeah. Have you had anything from the Seven Brothers, Chris? I haven't had anything from them yet. The two we did, the the um the um the honeycomb one was was okay, surprisingly, um and I quite liked the um the the cocoa pops. It was all right. Well, the video was uh, it made it look certainly good, didn't it? Hmm. Uh, I I do like a nice stout, that's for sure. But it's got to be a nice stout. Uh, over there looks a nice stout. <laughs> Do you know, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> For somebody, <laughs> if you go back and watch the, the beginning of um, when it was Wonder Be a Wonder last year, 
if you go back and look when she first started, when we first started the channel, um, she couldn't stand stouts. It was just alien to her. And then I can't remember. I think it was the one um, Tom at Window Beer Reviews with Thomas. He sent over um, O'Hara's Dry Irish Stout, and she quite liked that. And then sort of gradually from there, she sort of, she sort of progressed further. Find one thing you like and then just build on it. Yeah, exactly. For, for, uh, obviously, anything with chocolate, one is a chocoholic anyway. So if, if if there's a chocolatey backbone to it, she, there's a fair chance she's gonna she's gonna like it. As long it's the ABV that kills Wanda a lot of the time. Um, anything over about nine, she's gonna she 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 she'll like it, but she won't drink it. So what well, what have we got in the comments now? Uh, we've looked at JB there. Uh, Semo reckons that'll be quite all right. And JB says he's got a Imperial Tonkoko there. I, I, I actually picked up, because I, I, um, I had the original Tonkoko on a live with um, Dean, um, very, probably in probably September last year. Really liked it. Um, and then I picked up in the Imperial to uh, Tonkoko um, probably September, September this year. But I picked it up over in Southampton, drove back, and it rolled yeah. off the seat, and it had, um, it split the can. So it was all over my car. And by the time I got it, I had about three quarters of a can. So I, I picked it up to review. So I was, I was a bit gutted about that. But what I had of it was really, really nice. But certainly looks like a good beer i've not had it myself but well that that tonka bean is very very prominent if mm. i mean it's it can only be one thing um and it's it's, it's i think it's it's a bit like marmite you're either going to like it or you're not going to yeah. like it all right bear with me two seconds yeah no worries, mate. Mate. so i've got to grab another beer mm -hmm. so um, you're in charge well somebody asked what i'm drinking if you've watched the old dumb advent calendar today I'm on uh, the Mikella Do Stuff Together. Pale Ale, 4.7%. And it's lovely, to be fair. I've, I haven't, I've, had, I've had probably five or six beers from Mikella, and not one of them has been bad. Um, so, yeah, decent stuff. I just I said, I'm, I'm drinking this one, Chris, the one I opened for the beer calendar. I saw that video earlier. The only thing I've actually got in the house that isn't not for review. So the stuff, I've got all the Christmas stuff that's up on the top of the cupboard, but some of that cost me a fortune. So I dare start raiding that just for the sake of it. Yeah. I tried my first McKellar beer about, I don't know, about a month ago. Mm -hmm. One of the ones they had over in Sainsbury's. Yep. I can't remember which one it was, but I really enjoyed it. They're they're well made. They don't they don't mess around with Keller. I've I've had um I did one with Dean not long ago on a live because uh, there's two in Sainsbury's. I can't remember what they're called. Um, and you've got um, hair in the mailbox is used to be in uh, Marks and Spencer's and finger in the dirt or something. I think it's called. Um, they do a couple in there as well. But yeah, solid solid brewery. Mm. I, yeah, I'd like to say I really enjoyed that one. I think my favourite that I've had recently from Sainsbury's has got to be the alpaca, though. No alpacas were harmed in making alpaca. <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> I think the only, video, the only video we've ever stopped, isn't it, I think? And had a massive argument. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop it for about 10 minutes while we were having a go at each other. <laughs> I did enjoy that video, I have to say. <laughs> Probably cool. more than you've been making it. For, for me, uh, that's why I like... Um, how, do I be how do I be diplomatic? Um, <laughs> that's why I like certain reviewers, because they don't take it too seriously. Yeah. Um, we've never taken it too seriously. I went through a stage last year where I began to take this channel, or our channel, quite seriously, and Wanda told me to stop, otherwise she wasn't doing it anymore. Um, so, which is why we put a bit of fun, try and make beer fun. 
Um, and, and you know, there's, there's so much bloody misery in the world that it's just uh, let's have a bit of fun. That's what having a beer is all about, really, isn't it? Yep. And, made, and, and I've made some really good friends, really, really good friends from it. Um, and it's it's been wonder bless her. She does it for me. I don't know how much joy she actually gets for it. She's never really told me. Uh, Hello. I'm off now. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're on swine. <laughs> not, oh, I'm going so to on upside down again. Look. My what on that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Oh man, I I don't know what was happening. I couldn't get the internet to give me more than one meg. I was like, "What the heck is going on here?" So we went around the house, turned everything that's got Wi-Fi off, uh, and it still didn't work. So I ended up restarting the router, and it seems to be all right now. Got one and a half now. <laughs> yeah, one and a half. I, it's just frustrating. Good old technology. Oh, we'll, 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 so how are you, Chris? Uh, I'm all right, actually, John. Uh... It's nice to have a little sit down and have a beer with some mates. So, and John, John. Man. <laughs> yeah, and Don. <laughs> the cheers. And how how are you, Scott? You're right. How was the party? Oh, it was it was a really good one, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, she had, she had a really nice. So it was only um there was me, Wanda, um, Leah and her partner, and Chantel and Sam. Um, so it was just uh, what she wanted like a fifties night. So it's um, still some of the stuff. Some of the stuff's still up. Oh, that's nice. Um, so yeah, she had a, just like a, a massive buffet. Um, played all her music, and then we put, then she just wanted to play games. So we just played games. So it was really nice, to be fair. But we did so much running around yesterday. I don't know what time we went to bed. About eleven. I popped on, did I? Spice and easy, just to say hello very quickly. But I literally just jumped into bed because I was knackered. I had a very strange experience the other night. I was, uh, I got into bed, and I had, I was watching videos on YouTube, and I thought, I fancy uh, sherbet fountain, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I got sherbet fountain and ate it in bed. It was quite strange. I was like, this is really weird, but it was kind of good at the same time. So yeah, there you go. That's that's an odd one, but hey ho. I will um, with your, um, your live from last night at some point this week um, because I sort of want to see what was being done. I, I like the concept. Um, I, I caught about five minutes of it um, quite early on, um, and I like I liked what you were doing. Fantastic! Oh, thanks, mate. Do you like it, Chris? Oh, it's fantastic. Just wish somebody uh, down this would do something like that. Got so many well, small companies down here. Well, that's what we tried to do this month, um, through was um, support local business. Um, so we did a like, little out and about videos, um, and literally just bought stuff from local breweries. It cost me hmm. a fortune, um, but really enjoyed it. Um, and I was, I was having some of the breweries wanted to give me give us the beers to review, and I'm like. But that defeats the whole object yeah. of supporting local. So no, thank, thank you for the offer, but no, thank you. We'll buy them. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's yeah. nice, man. They've been on like, really good years. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Really. I mean, um, uh, the one that's that stood out for me was was um, was Southie Brewing, mainly because of the setting. The castle's fantastic. I mean, what a place to have a brewery. Um, and the, the guy has got literally is Dave Eastwood has got probably the smallest little brewery room in Britain, and he's making some and he, he's happy with that. Um, and he's making some fantastic beers, absolutely fantastic. Looked like a beautiful brewery as well. It's fantastic in there. He invited, he's invited us. We're actually they've got a tap room, um, which is where we, we took a, 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 a quick snapshot of. Um, they've reopened. <laughs> And we're going up there because they've got a fantastic thing going. Um, again, supporting local. They um, they're offering food in the tap room, but if you don't want to eat their food, they've got a chip shop across the road, so you can go and get the fish and chips from the uh, from the fish and chip shop, and then go and eat them in the tap room while you're drinking the beer. That's fantastic. That's awesome. 
Uh, we're, we're going up there Friday night for something to eat and a, and a couple of drinks. I think that's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, we're no, going to smash through some comments. Yes, mate. Yes. Where did we get to? All right, so... JB agrees. Mikola are wonderful. Like I said, I've only had one of their beers, so... I've had about... I think I've had one, two... Go back, go go back and watch. Last year, I did um, hair in the mailbox. Uh, Wanda wasn't here; she was yet again in uh, Great Ormond Street with Leah, and um, I had to. Cut, it was the first time that I'd done anything without her, so I had to sort of improvise very slightly. Um, and it's probably the most complicated video I've ever filmed. Um, because of the way I, uh, as was today's, the Blue Van Man's, the Elvis sandwich. But I, I, I had two screens going, but I had to remove one of the screens for, for a reason. And um, so I had to re-upload it. But yeah, I, I'm having fun with my editing more than anything. Like, along, with the, along with the reviews as well. It's been good. Oh. Oh, my, kids, uh, my kids did a uh, little video today. They've been badgering me since brilliant. I started YouTube. They were like, I want to do a video. Can we do a video? Can we do it? And I was like, you know what? Christmas special. Get a video <laughs> on there. And, uh, they, they've loved it. Oh, I've gone out of focus. There we go. No. <laughs> they were really professional. No, about... You what? Sorry. They were really professional with it as well. Oh, they loved it. They've been... See, People Great don't realise how much they take in. They watch every, but like they they watch other people's beer reviews because I'm watching it. And uh, <laughs> Casey is like loves all the YouTube kids stuff. So they proper were so excited this morning when I said, "All oh, right, come on, let's film." They were like, <laughs> oh, "Really? Oh wow!" And they're running around getting all their Christmas jumpers on and stuff. Oh, they loved it. So yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed. That I'm drinking video. port now. Great. Oh, thanks, Chris. I try, I try and catch up with much as much as I can these days. It's um, I, I used to watch virtually everything, but it becomes impossible. Um, so I, I work, I watch, I watch certain people now, and I don't trouble myself with others. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit the same now. If there's somebody reviewing a beer that I really, I've, I've had, and I want to see what they think, I'll watch it. Otherwise, I. I just stick to the core people I tend to watch. Yeah, it's like it's like, it's like a television program, isn't it? You watch you like you watch things that you like to watch, and um, yeah. and that's about it, really. Otherwise, you just um. This TV, this, I've got two screens, and this screen is so bright that it's giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the hot, even my ring light, I've turned it right down because I'm feeling a bit fragile. And I thought, I'll have a pour and that'll take the edge off the way I feel. <laughs> but it seems to be working. <laughs> oh, gosh, this morning I was like, oh, gosh. Yeah, not good. Not good oh, at all. How long, long did you go on for last night, Ben? How long? Well, so mm. the live feed that I did was a couple of hours. Yeah. And then I went on Spice and Easy's. I don't even remember how long I was on there. I, I left Spice and Easy's Age. about half an hour after yours had finished. So I stayed on for about half an hour longer. And then after that, I just, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I was very tired, but I was all hyped up after I did the... Um, did that live? I, I was worried, man. Because it's one thing me coming on and making a bit of a plonker of myself. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about it, Scott, but when it, when it when you're representing someone else, it's a whole different ball game. It so is, like, yeah. I'm you happy. don't want to upset anybody. I just... don't want to feel... Listen, I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to turn my camera off and mute myself just for about five ten minutes, um, and then I'll be back. All right. There you go. Uh, Paul says, so, yeah, Berlin, was... Ryan Backer. I, I think now 
I'd probably agree with that one. Phil says, handsome John, handsome John. <laughs> he, always, he always says that. Hi, Philip. But I love there's you there's no lol. No, no lol this time. What's that about? I feel shortchanged. That's uh, shocking. Got shark home bring in. Wow. Eight o'clock in the morning. In LA, baby. Golden milk stout with waffle mix. Bet that'd be nice. Wow. Oh, golden coffee stout. Golden coffee stout. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm. Brian saying hello to Shark Brewing there. Lee's Al in. Atlanta. Wow. Lee from Leeds. Lee's, Lee's, Lee's. Hello, Lee. How are you doing? And Brian says hello to Lee. Yeah, a lot of this, but let's skip through the everyone saying hello to everyone. Lee's enjoying the keg of handbook. That's a stand up beer, that one. It's fair, you know, we were saying something the other day about um, because Lee said um, it tastes different from a can to a keg, mm. and I think. Um, we're learning this at the moment with canning that there is there is a difference. It definitely yeah. tastes different. The process seems to because we fill we have to filter the beer for the cans so that you don't end up in a situation where it explodes. Um, but um, it does it does change the flavour a little bit. But it's good beer in can. It's got a really unusual taste though. Hamburg, very odd. I really enjoyed that one. It's like. I think it's like trying to describe the colour green. The, the, yeah. What would green, green taste like? And I think Handbook tastes like green, if that was a taste. Mm. <laughs> but you guys are better at the tasting than I am, honestly. I, I like, oh, I like that, or no, I don't like that, where you guys are much more tuned in. Well, it's, it's funny because Shane says that he can't understand how I can pick out these different flavours. from it's, it's either a nice beer or it's not a nice beer. I think I'm trying to explain it is he, he just doesn't get it. Well, it's funny when um, our brewer watches the reviews, he's like, yeah, Chris is, Chris is on it, man. Chris is pretty darn accurate. I was like, oh, right. Okay, so they, they, they think you're on it. So just thought That's I'd say that. Yeah. Oh, Paul's got a joke already for us. Went on a date last night with a girl from a zoo. It was great. She's a keeper. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's he like? You can't beat oh, Paul's man. joke. I know, I know. I don't know where he gets them all from. They're amazing. I love it. I, I'll try and retell him, and I forget him every time. I have to write him <laughs> down. I'm going to tell him. They do pen and backer in plastic bottles in Germany. Wow, no way. I've had, um, I think it was Bex in a plastic bottle. And that was when I was at a uh, Wacken festival. So that's just north of Hamburg. So I bet you can't Stop. have all that glass lying around a festival, can you? Heck no. I can't even <laughs> remember. The last time I went to Germany, it was a long time ago. We went to Stuttgart, and I remember getting... Uh, I've been to Reutlingen as well. I got shouted at because I didn't make a decision on what beer I wanted fast enough, by the way. <laughs> and then once she got my drink, she slammed it down on the table like I'd like really offended her. I was like, How wow. dare you not know what you want instantly? Yeah, I was like, what the chuffy? It's not like I, I literally had sat down, been given this menu, and, and she came back within not even a minute. I was like, whoa, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just got mad as hell. I was like, uh, I think as well, I did the typical English thing of not being able to speak anybody else's language. <laughs> so I've not I don't think that would... bad on that front. I've been abroad five times. Twice was for Vacken Festival. And three times were for Hellfest. And my German and French were passable. So I managed to get by, just about. Wow. I can I can do a little bit of French, although I made an ass of myself yesterday on the live stream when somebody put up 
And they put toi, and I was like, yeah, yeah no, no, no anyway, it's three times. And they were like, no, toi is three. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I look so uncultured, but yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, we've got a lull now. Thank we you. Got a lull. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming on, Brian. Hope your uh, lunch was nice. He's off to work again. What uh, on Sunday? At Atlanta Airport. Oh wow! So is he? Are they that far? Are they ahead of us or behind us? They're five hours behind us, so what we now? 25 to 5, so it's 25 to 12 over there. Wow, that's a mad shift, that, on a Sunday. There's one for you, John. How it takes you to so many different tastes. It does, it's very strange. There's a hop in there that we use called Jester, which is a British shop hop that Charles Farham created and um we're not entirely sure whether to use it again because it's so strong and overpowering but it's got it a unique make, yeah it's very very unique and it, it i think the only reason why we question using it again is because it's such it seems to be a marmite kind of hop you either mm. absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it um but yeah i think it may, it actually makes handbook pretty good um, yeah, but it's, it's something different. Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed it. Mind you, yeah, I haven't a... had one of your beers that I haven't enjoyed yet, so... Oh, well, I, the, the Log Jam Smash just seems to amaze me that everybody likes that, because it just... I can't drink the stuff. It's oh, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lee's bought a case. He bought a whole case of them. But it's... <laughs> it, is that's the beauty of beer, isn't it? It doesn't necessarily. Yeah. Um, if you don't like something, it doesn't mean that someone else is wrong. Mm. It means it's different. Absolutely. Thomas is in. Hello, hey. Thomas. How you doing? He's a lovely guy. He's on everything. I don't know how he does it. He's got more mm. time. Like I don't. You, a man must be just there, ready, poised. <laughs> I don't think you sleep, Thomas. <laughs> I did lose my baubles last night. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I don't. I, funny bit is, I I wouldn't have said like I know what I'm like when I'm drunk. I don't. <laughs> I didn't feel. I didn't feel drunk at that. Like, and I totally remember everything that went on. Um, but. It's just, how can I explain it? I just get really tired now. And then I wake up in the morning and my mouth is just so dry that, you know, I didn't actually have a great deal of booze last night at all. I, I, in total, I think I had six beers. That was it. Yeah. I'm just going to move things around a bit. Oh, yeah, at the bottom. There you go. And I'm just going to... Slide Scott out for a bit. If he wants to come back in, he's more than welcome, obviously. I'm just getting used to this stream yard, so. It's quite that good. I liked it. I've, yeah, I, d I did the paid version just for that live stream. Mm. So I've got it for one month paid. And I actually, I was like, oh, that's really good. I just thought to myself, I need to make the effort to use it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. I have, yeah, I, I have my bubbles here. There you go. It's just a change. Did you like Dolly Parton last night? Dolly Parton was cute. Just a shame that Graham's internet wasn't so good. Oh, man, the viewership just dropped off the minute it, he came on because of the clicking. Yeah. So we went from 28 to 17 within 25 seconds. And I was like, I oh. <laughs> Ab says, lol. Lol. Hi, Abs. Hello, Abby. And we've got another joke from Paul now. <laughs> well, I can't wait really. to read. She was charging the hot. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Do you know, are you, are you, there's not many women in our industry, not, not compared to... 
the amount of men that there are. Right. But it does seem to be increasing. Um, yeah, we, we've got friends, uh, Malinson's there. That's a... Uh, uh, I was nearly going to say an old woman team there, but Nick, I think, would be angry with me. <laughs> He'd be like, "Hang on," <laughs> uh, but Elaine and Tara run it, and it and it's a it's a great brewery. But um, yeah, I don't know a great deal of of uh, women in the actually in the breweries. Um, but maybe that's something that should be pushed a bit more. Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> Shot like that. That's going to keep not... running and running, isn't it? It's going to be something that lasts forever. I, it's the fact that when we went on live feed, like with my work, first thing, handsome John, handsome John, lol. <laughs> I was like, oh man, why did I type it that day? So, yeah, it's fine. Thanks for coming in, Lee. Oh, awesome. Happy birthday to your son. 16. I don't even remember being 16. Gosh. Long time ago for me. Gosh. <laughs> that is a long time ago. I was uh, I, I had my 40th during lockdown. What's that about? <laughs> Still winds me up now. But I just, yeah... I'm not quite there yet. Still got another five and a half years to go, but... Oh, you lucky thing. <laughs> That's right, though. Shane's for next year. Oh, is it? Yeah. Got to do something... Well, probably... Right, so me and my best mate, Al, had planned to do something. We were like, right, we never do anything on our birthdays. We're five days apart. Let's, let's do something decent. Well, let's either go abroad, or even if we can't do that, Let's do the Great Yorkshire show, but like take a few days off, go out, stay in a hotel, go go out, you know, yeah. for evenings out, and meals and stuff, and then we'll do the Great Yorkshire show. We'll do it, the whole the whole thing, lock, stock, and barrel. I was like, yeah, I'm well up for that. And Chuffing COVID came along, and literally we looked at each other. We went, we, you know, we were allowed to go for a walk, so we went, we went yeah. for a walk, and uh. And I said, we're 40. And he went, I don't want to talk about it. And then we never said a word. <laughs> we never said a word about it again. <laughs> we both were so annoyed. <laughs> uh, so that, yeah, that was it, really. <laughs> so my best friend is 46 now. And for her birthday every year, it's usually two or three days before Bloodstock Festival. This year, her birthday was going to be on the first day of Bloodstock. So we were going to get completely wrecked, obviously. And we can't do it now. What can I but say? But there's always next year. Yeah, but like, okay, right. So it's her, like, 46th birthday? 46, mm. do you really celebrate 46? 40? Just ain't going to be the same next year. <laughs> no. You, you only get one... Of the milestone ones, don't you? Yeah. And I didn't do anything on my 18th or my 30th or my 21st. <sighs> anyway, stop moaning now. There's people with far bigger problems than me. Uh, breweries here in C8, California, I'm guessing. I'm starting to see more. And more women in their industry. We have a brewery that is majority women. Oh, well, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. yeah, I'd agree with that. I have you had still it? Haven't heard anything from Brew York yet? Really? No. I I'd put it. It's mad. Honestly, their dark beers are probably. Some of the best in the UK, without a doubt. That that's what they really made their name out of was doing great dark beers. I think the biggest issue we have is Taunton is the county town of Somerset, and yet we have no beer shops at all. Don't get cracking then and get a beer shop opened. Start my own business up. 
Yeah, why not? There's loads and loads of shops that will be empty after, you know, everything that's happened. You'll be able to get yourself like a six-month lease free and there'll be no business rates, I doubt. Get in there. Get get yourself a nice little shop yeah. play, with enough that space. That wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? I think you could do it. Easy. Go about six wine shops in the town. Yeah, but it's not... I, I, I think you need to... Yeah, if there's no beer shop, man, you need to do it. Get all those local breweries around you, supplying you with beer. Yep. I'm sure they give you some credit as well to support That's you. Exmoor Ales and whatnot. Yeah, a bit of sale of return. We'll send you some down. Yep. And then uh, get you going. Honestly, um, I've got so many ideas for after this lockdown. <laughs> so many ideas. I'd love to have my own pub one day, but... Yeah, there'll be loads of them as well. <laughs> Pubs are hard work. I, re- yeah. I mean... And you have no social life when you're in a pub. Not really, no. Um, the way to do it, or certainly the way I think, um, that seems to be the happiest people that I've met have run micro pubs um, because the overheads are low. Um, yeah. You've got people that, you know, you can, you've only got so many people that can sit in. So you know roughly what you're going to make. Um, and, you know, if you keep those overheads down, then your profit's going to be higher. So, you know, micro pubs are the way forwards. Yeah. If you can get one with a bit of out, outdoor space as well, then you're absolutely winning then. And an outdoor pizza oven too. Oh, absolutely. And, and your hours on pub hours. No. So you're not having to do one or two in the morning. No. It's the future, perfect, Chris. Yeah. Right, I need to go and get some more beer, so... In the meantime, John, it's over to you. Tell everyone okay. about your channel, your brewery, and your beer. Okay. Put you on. What? Hey, well, there you go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Beer Dog Reviews. If you've tuned in now, uh, my I'm not Chris. I'm somebody different because my hair. I can't grow hair like Chris can. Um, uh, what I was going to say, yeah, I've got a channel called Lord's Brewing Company, and um, I make some beer as well. Well, I don't. My brewers uh, and my brother-in-law do. And uh, we've been going since 2015, and we're just about surviving this uh, pandemic. Um, and you can order our beers on our website. So there you go. So what is everybody drinking? Um, I am nursing my way through a glass of port at the moment because to be honest i've just had that much beer over the last couple of weeks i'm just a bit beard out and i feel a bit fragile today so i did i did subscribe to your channel john nice to meet you where are you based i am in yorkshire i'm in huddersfield yeah one of uh Huddersfield's uh, one of West Yorkshire's more rough towns, I would say. In the middle, it's quite it's it's quite rough in the town centre, but it's uh, it's getting better all the time. So yeah, it's good, good people in Huddersfield. I love it. Uh, ooh, right. nice! Maybe they could get the beer in the stadium on games days. Oh, we're talking about right. They're talking. I think they're talking about American football, but I'm not sure. I'm not really up to date with any sport. I don't think. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, I'm glad that's two of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you see, Chris, when Paul and Alan and and, and any of the other Scott they start talking about football, and if I'm on the live, I don't. Know, I just I'm like. <laughs> I'm like I'm completely lost. Yeah, it's just like I'm like, uh, yeah. Or I just sit back and get another drink. That's the only way I can do it. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm t- this is hard to get through. Um, that's what I'm saying. 
Are you still on that port? <laughs> yeah, I do like port. But I just, I'm really beard out, and I think I'm probably a bit alcohol out as well. Um, what port is? It's Taylor's first estate. Ooh, that's a nice one. A, I think it was only about um, it was about eight quid, I think, in uh, mm. Asda. It's good value for, uh, for money, though. Yeah, I mean, there was one bottle, right, and it was forty quid. And I thought, <laughs> I wonder what a forty quid bottle of port tastes like because I've never had port that expensive. And I, I sort of stood there and looked at it, and Lydia just went, "No." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> it is very tempting, though. Well, it's it's like beer, isn't it? You know, you, there's there's beer, and then there's beer, yeah. and then like we're saying with wine, there's like Lydia picked up this bottle of French white wine that was five quid. And I said, before you buy that, just think about this for a second. I said, that white wine, there'll be a 40% markup on it. There's duty has been paid on it, which will be a lot. And then there's import. Yeah. So what is that wine actually cost to make? Profit it's in the shop as well. Yeah. So you're talking like a quid. And I said, how yeah. good can a one pound bottle of wine be? And she went, yeah, that's true. And I said, right, buy it, just get something a bit more expensive. And and um, and that's what we do normally. I always have a, crazy, a test but... when I buy a bottle of wine. If the label looks good, I'll pick up the bottle, stick my thumb in the base. If I can get my thumb past the first knuckle, then it's going to be a good wine. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Unless it's French, because I don't like French wine, but... French wine's an interesting one because if you're on a holiday, it tastes amazing. Yeah, but you bring it back with you. I don't know. I don't know. They send they're, 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 show, they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, I think it's because of our tax. If hmm. it, have you been in a French supermarket and look, looked at the yeah. wine section? It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. yeah, you walk into Leclerc or somewhere like that, and it's just. Shelves filled with good quality wine at reasonable prices. Yeah, there must be something. Their tax system must be different on wine. We uh, we seem to pay well. I mean, the, people don't realise how much duty we pay on beer. Yeah, it's way more than the ingredients, and it's actually sometimes it could be more than the profit that you make on the beer. Oh yeah, I I do know that. French taxes on imported wines are a lot higher because they try and protect their own. Which makes sense, you know. Protect your local business. I don't blame them. I mean... Uh, other countries did the same. Well, yeah, help, you, help your local businesses. And mentioning no countries, of course. <laughs> Say nothing. Say not, let's not get, well, that's cool, Chris. That's a good way of killing your channel very quickly. Yeah, um, I try to stay out of it all, to be honest. I get frustrated mm. sometimes, but genuinely, I, I'm, I would say I'm probably pretty central down the line. I'm a bit like, have you ever listened to Joe Rogan podcast? No, I haven't. So people get really frustrated with him because he won't say he's one or the other. He doesn't really – he's open to some stuff, but then if he thinks the right are doing something that's just stupid, he'll go, well, that's ridiculous. And equally so, if the left do something, he just says, "That's that's well, that's not right. Yeah. And they hate him for it. Like, honestly, the amount of flack, they're like, you need to make a decision. And I'm, like, I, I'm the same. I'm like – I don't need to make a decision for anybody. I, lo I think, for me, I want to know both sides of the story and make an informed yeah. decision for myself as best as I can. I, I always like to weigh up every side of an argument as much as I can. Yep, that's it. So, uh, right. anyway. We'll talk about see on the papers. Of... Okay, that's <laughs> enough politics. That's it. I want to know what the I panel... I could go on for hours about politics. I won't. 
Oh, really? I'm, I'm, like, I'm quite bad, I've got to admit. <laughs> Mix Ooh. of Hefter and Ooh, Orange. I don't know about that. Ooh, I don't know. Might yeah. be nice. Their orange juice might be better than our orange juice, to be fair. Oh, that's fair, I suppose. Paul's talking What's about the football. There holding the gun behind you, and what gun has he got? <laughs> that was a um, a present that Shane's mum gave us for Christmas one year, and he's put it up on the wall. But it doesn't fit in with my style of dragon skulls and drinking horns. I don't know. I like it. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's something a bit different. What was that, Paul? Did he put something about football? He did. Yeah. Well, if I can help calm your nerves with a nice beer, then you carry on, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> What's that? Watching Rush, uh, La Villa, Strand... Is that Rush the Band? I don't know. I feel like I should Google it. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Uh, I would Google it. Give me phone, so I can't. Right, let me have a look. I'll see what it is. It is. It is a band. I won't play it. In case it is Russian band, they're right. very prog. There's nothing so, wrong with a bit of prog. How, where are you at um, with your subs? How are you getting on with it? I am on 119 at the moment. Oh, that's not. So, that's not. You got that 19 quick. It's it's holding steady. I I lost quite a few for some reason, but. And we got back up again. And mine's the same. I think mine goes up and down and, you know, I get really excited. I'm like, oh, look at this. And then I look and then I'm like, oh, uh, what am I on now? Uh, not much. I think it, 327. So last night I was on 319. So I picked up. See you later. Have a good one. Um, yeah, so I've picked up like eight last night. Mm. But I think um, the, f the hardest was that first hundred. Yeah. My God. Like, that was really, really difficult. Um, so I think I, w I watch a channel called, and it might help you actually. Um, not that you're doing anything wrong. You're doing really well. But... Uh, <laughs> Vid IQ, they're called, um, and they just have loads of information. Vid IQ, um, and they they're just really they tell you it how it is, and they tell you what YouTube's doing and how yeah. to work around it. And when you think about the amount of content I actually put on, I'm rubbish at it. So the fact that I managed to grow my channel is through a lot of the yeah. stuff that they they've they've said. So I can't recommend them enough, but it's worth worth looking at. Oh, but it's, looking uh, yeah, and I, I I would say it's just doing it organically yeah. is the key for me. I've, I've streamlined what I've done now, so I only put new reviews Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then I do occasional either my pre-recorded Sunday specials or. One of these live streams every so often. That's good. It's good. I, I, it's a lot of work, though, isn't it? I mean, especially when you've got yeah. another job. So I've, um, I'm going on uh, uh, on furlough soon to uh, basically to try and save the company some money. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll probably be posting more stuff on them because I'll have time to do it. It'll give me a focus. Stop me thinking, going down that rabbit hole. Of uh, get thinking too hard about stuff. <laughs> wow! Fire, fire, 
Five years. It took me five years to reach 1K in subs. Yeah, but you know what? I bet you've got... I bet your 1K are, like, solid. I always enjoy watching JB's reviews. You know, he, he's honest. And that's all you can ask, isn't it? Oh, that's it, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm always terrified when uh, someone reviews an RV. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, I've got to show you this. This will make you laugh. So, we got an untapped review the other day. It dries our brewers. Do you use untapped, Chris? I do. So, I ve me personally, I very rarely look at it, but the other lads look at it. Well, the Ben, who's my brother-in-law, he's he's the one that sort of keeps an eye on it. Um, Whoever I, runs your untapped has toasted a lot of my reviews. Oh, that would be Ben then. Yeah. So <laughs> I went on it the other day and it just made me, I, I laughed. At, I couldn't believe what Ben had put as a reply to this review. It just creased me up. So uh, we'd had a lot of really good reviews. And then it was for, so Malamute, you've had a Malamute, haven't you? Fantastic beer. Right. Okay. So it, it's a pretty good beer. I drink it. I like it. And then we got this uh, this untapped review from a friend who we know's bottle shop. Let me find it now. It was just savage. They like proper went at us. Um, one and a half they gave us. We have never had a bad beer from this shop before. Just goes to show you should never pick up a beer because it has your initials in it. A massive coniferous aftertaste, certainly not pining for another one. So then Ben put, fair enough. <laughs> 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 and uh, they, they didn't they didn't toast that. <laughs> uh, it just made me laugh. There's some right ones on there, honestly. We got we we get savage sometimes. It's um <laughs> Yeah, it's just funny. It's I, supposed to be I have not had a bad beer from your brewery yet. And I've had a few of them, haven't I, so? You have, yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that that's the case. We did, we very rarely get bad reviews, but like yeah. anything, beer is so subjective. It's either your oh, thing yeah. or it's not. Um, no, beer is like comedy. It'll either make you laugh or it'll make you cry. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, uh, certainly the untapped reviews uh, push our guys over the edge on a regular basis. So, oh, yeah. Eight watching now. Woohoo! <laughs> a whole hear. eight. Hey, that ain't bad. That's not bad at all. That I think the first time I went live, I think I had, I was like three people or something. Yeah, and we started doing these quizzes in lockdown, and I, I was really new to doing stuff like that. And uh, we get like 40, 50 people, and I was like, said to Lydia, I don't think it's worth doing. Uh, there's only like 40, 50 people. Now I look back and I think, gosh, I wish I could get 40, 50 yeah. people. Now. So I don't know, yeah. So I when you think about it, my channel's what six months old. I'm happy with what I get. Well, you, you do well with it. Yeah, absolutely. What made you start? Well, it was funny. I, right at the start of the situation, <laughs> as we don't talk about it, I, I had three things I like to do. I, I go to dog shows, I go to the pub, and I go to the gym. And I couldn't do any of it. So I thought to myself, what can I do to get away from being at work every day? I like beer and I like talking about beer. So, oh, I'll talk about beer on YouTube. Yeah. I, I stumbled through. I mean, if you go back and watch my first three videos, which were reviews of three different badger ales 
that it's dark. There's no editing at all. It's all very clumsy, but it was fun. So I just carried on. I got a camera. I learned how to do editing and all sorts of other things. So I just carried on doing it. That, that, I think that's a very, I think that's a similar thing to me in that I I needed, there was, there was nothing that I could really do. Um, and I think we'd already come up with the idea of using YouTube for a brewery, which hadn't really been done very much in the UK at all. So me and Al, our best mate, started to do it. Um, and then what happened was basically we did we kind of stopped we like started put a few videos up and then we didn't do anything with it for ages and then we kept saying every time we, we were chatting we we're like gotta do something with youtube it was so much fun and then lockdown came and we'd actually just kind of started to do stuff and talk about it right. and then just cracked on with it and uh really that's that's been the the, the focus and then you can see behind me now we've got lights and all sorts of stuff. But when I started, I didn't, I didn't, I just had the dresser with nothing on it. And that dresser was 30 quid off eBay. I just painted it with some black emulsion and off I went. Well, Greg says, don't bother reading untapped if you've got a brewery. <laughs> yes, true. It's true. I don't, I, honestly, I, I don't take a lot of notice, but it, sometimes it, it, it's worth a giggle. And it gives me content as well for when we do live feeds, because it's just hilarious. And Paul gets bad reviews of his reviews. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I, don't, I know he was telling me the other day that uh, the Desperados one, where he savages Desperados... <laughs> The hate that he gets from that in the comments. Oh, mate, this is the best beer in the world. And he just gets absolutely, yeah. That, he's like, look, it's yeah. just my opinion. If you like, like I, yeah. It's not a beer, is it? It's You've got one alcoholic drink with a spirit added, so it's a cocktail. Yeah. Well, it's virgin on the edge of being an alcohol pop. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I sat and drank hooch in a park. Oh, do you know what? I was talking to Al. I was like, Al, you know, we did that 80s nostalgia beer. I went to B&M Bargains and I saw two different flavours of hooch. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get some Alcapops and do um, a video. We'll do it here and we'll do a video of, you know, the um, 80s and 90s Alcapops. And oh, just two flavors. We only had lemon. Where I a kid? Yeah, I only remember a lemon. Yeah. Am I right in thinking? Was it was it hooch that had a dog on it, or was that the one with the two lemons? And then there was another one. Hooch had the lemons on. Mad Dog Twenty Twenty had the dogs on. Yes. Right. Okay. I wonder if you can get that. My wife is. Oh, are we and oh, we're having a buffet. <laughs> buffet we're eating those Indian snacks that we didn't finish on Wednesday night uh, <laughs> some other random stuff by the looks of it um, let me see shall I have a look and see if we can get Mad Dog 2020 whether you can still buy it I, I lived in Bridgewater for a few years about 10 years ago and there was a shop which still sold it Really? Yeah. Oh, it's gone all up market. <laughs> oh my god, really? It now has no picture of a dog with its um things. It now has <laughs> a picture of like raspberries and stuff, and then it says MD twenty twenty. Blue raspberry. <laughs> Fortified wine. I bet it's still uh, vile though. I think I should try some. I tell you what, though, Buckfast, that's not a bad drink. Really? Honestly. 
Yeah, we all think of Buck Buck as the uh, the drink of the Glaswegian tramp, but it's not a bad drink at all. Really? I d yeah. I've always stayed clear of it. I mean, see, that's another one. I've never tried it. Uh, it just sounds horrific. But we were on the motorway the other day and we saw a Buckfast tanker. They're like, flipping heck. They're selling it in tankers. <laughs> that would mad. I was like, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. I was like, my gosh, they, they, it obviously sells. Um, I, I grew up in Devon, not far really from Buckfast Abbey. Where they make it, obviously, because the the monks still make it, and I'd never had it until two years ago. Wow! And you really enjoyed it. It's I enjoy it, but it's ridiculously sweet, and after a few. Horns of it at a festival, you'll be on your ass. <laughs> right, okay, fair enough. Because you do have to drink it out of a drinking horn, obviously. Oh, really? Is that is that what you've got to do? I think that might just be via metalhead way. <laughs> ah. See, I've got a drinking horn, and I just find that anything I put in it ends up smelling, smelling and tasting like an old shoe. Ah, see, what you have to do is... When you finished with it, so as soon as I get home from a festival, I fill me home with boiling water and leave it to air dry. Oh, right. And this horn, I've never used, because this is a completely natural, hand-carved base horn with holder. Wow. So how how much liquid can you get in that one? Uh, that's a half litre one. My festival horn is also a half litre. I used to have a litre horn, but I lost it. <laughs> See, the problem I've got is, I think this is a litre and a half. I don't know what it is, but it, it's massive. Yeah, that looks like a 1.5 to me. Yeah, and um, that's a lot of beer. Especially if you brought one that you're not really keen on at a beer festival. <laughs> but but I always find... I... Go on, sorry. I always find the trouble with the horn is you stick it in your belt holder when you finish your beer. You sit down, it pops out, you go up to get another beer, it's fallen out and you don't find it again. True. Do you know what I did with this one, though? So, I went, I go to York Beer Festival, and an uh, ant from uh, Brew York, he is part Viking. So, it was a bit of fun. I bought this. Did I buy this? Did I buy this at the Great British Beer Festival when we went down? Yeah. yeah. So, I got this at the Great British. Was it? Yeah. You sure? Right, okay. So I, apparently I got this at the Great Bridge Beer Festival. I had to remind <laughs> myself. Um, and um, and I thought, oh, I'll take that to, to York Beer Festival. And there's a photo on our Instagram of me and Ants drinking out. We're like, oh, Vikings. Um, and uh, after having two of these, I thought to myself, I better not have another. So what I did is I went outside and gave it a rinse out. And it was very quiet outside because it had, had a downpour. <laughs> so I filled it up with water, and I had two of these full of water, and I was right as rain by the time I went home. Yeah. But nobody thought, they thought, man, that dude's a boss. He's drunk loads of them. <laughs> He's been drinking out of that all day. How's he still standing? Little did they know I had water in it because I was getting beat. So uh, there you go. I do exactly the same at metal festivals. I sneak off. Fill me home with some water, have a few swigs, and away again. Yeah, it, it, and a litre and a half of water sorts you out. What I like, though, about these is they don't kill the cow, do they? No. 
So this cow is probably still about. Yeah. Well, I don't know. How, how old is your horn? <laughs> now, there's a question. I don't know. <laughs> I've had this for about a year, I think. Is it a year? Um, Two years. Oh, last summer we bought this. Yeah, she's probably yeah. burgers now. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I've probably eaten him as well and didn't know. Oh, gosh. Hey? What, what have you done? My wife is saying, I've hurt my knee. Why? Oh, she went running first time in ages this morning. And uh, oh, don't do she that. came back. Yeah. She's like, I'm freezing and I'm sweating and I'm, I'm cold and I want to shower and my, I'm aching all over. It's like, oh, well, you're clearly enjoying yourself then. I shall stay here and get fat. So, I was going to go for a 50-mile cycle this morning, obviously, as many know. Took the dog out for a walk. It's bloody freezing. So I thought, oh, no, I can't be bothered. You go for 50-mile bike rides? 15, one five. Oh, gosh. Well, it's still alive. <laughs> I thought you said 50. Yeah, I was but... like, holy cow. <laughs> when I took <laughs> the dog out and it was that cold, I thought, no, ain't bothering. Oh, man. Where's Scott gone? Is he coming back? I don't know. He's not popped up again yet. He's vanished. Well, when did it win my dinner? I'm still struggling to talk. I do this all the time. <laughs> um, when my dinner is ready, I will I will vacate and let my place be taken by somebody else. Uh, yeah. It's what? So, what are you having for dinner then, John? So we've got random. We're having a buffet, apparently. Um, what is it? It's those Indian bites that we tried on Wednesday night. Yeah. Crackers, crackers and cheese. A bit of paint. Yeah. Crisps. What are those? Ooh. Coconut prawns. Oh, there you go. And we've got some sushi as well. There you go. Living it up to that. What it is, we had a late lunch. Well, was it a late lunch? A kind of brunch. And uh, it was, we had, uh, we got seeded um, loaf from Lidl. And it makes great toast. And then we put... Uh, sausage, egg, mushroom, bacon in it. We had one sandwich. I was just like, I'm so full. So, yeah, so that was it. So we we were like, oh, do we have a full meal? And then we've decided, there's five of us, you see, with the three kids. So we thought, we'll just do it like a buffet because the kids love it. They just think it's the most fun thing ever. Nice load of nibbly bits. I wouldn't open... Right, viewers... Do we open the Christmas dips now or do we leave it? Lydia's like, it's a bit early for dips. See, I have dips any time of year. I'll often sit down with a tub of hummus and some chips. Oh, really? Mm hmm. See, look, we've got. Oh! We've got one of these. You know, your classic. Oh, we've got the dip. thousand oil in there and the sour cream and chive. Onion, garlic. Oh, I don't know. That's lot of it, if you open that, we've got to get it done by. Yeah, mm -hmm. <sighs> it, if it makes you happy, it's up to you. <laughs> you can't believe this what our lives have got to Christmas dip what are these do, what, Paul how do you not know what Christmas dips are I call them everyday dips Every... <laughs> <laughs> everyday dips <laughs> uh, oh gosh our shopping bill was outrageous this weekend we just went mad and there was no need. It was it was my fault. I'm getting told off now. Hey, it's your fault. Yeah, it was my fault. 
But I don't know. The world seems a better place when you've got full cupboards, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. If you've got food in your house and a roof on your head, you're happy. It's true. And beer in your glass. Yeah. Or port. Or, or port. I feel very upmarket tonight, but it's about the only thing I can palate at the moment. <laughs> Kobe, you're going to come and say hello to Beer Dog Reviews. He's here. He was very pleased that he popped up on the premiere. Hi. <laughs> Where are you coming? Hi, Kobe. Oh, you're going there. Okay, so he's got his Sonic the Hedgehog pajamas on, which, might add, he's been in all day. Why not? Yeah, he wants to do uh, beer reviews, don't you, Bobs? Yeah. But you can't have any beer. That old chestnut. <laughs> what about fizzy drink reviews? Yeah, fizzy drink reviews. You could do fizzy drink reviews, couldn't you? Would you like that? You don't really like fizzy drinks that much, do you? I do. Do you? I okay. Do. All right. You like some? Because I like Coke. <laughs> oh, do you? I think you didn't like Coke. I like Coke. Okay, all right. I clearly don't know my child. <laughs> Kids, I was telling someone that no, he doesn't like Coke. He'd rather have a uh, the taste of beer. Uh, well, right, okay. Would, beer would you beer. rather have beer than Coke? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So I am right. But I still like Coke. Okay. There you go. There we go. Do you double dip. Ooh, see, for me, <laughs> once you've bitten it, you shouldn't be dipping it. No. It's just not right. Oh, man. Get this. You know what I mean? Never double dipped. One, watch one on the chef's experiment. <laughs> oh, no. I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, if you think you're... Whatever you're dipping in, your carrot or your crisp or whatever's too big, just break it up. You're right. It's. I tell you what, we went. Uh, we were in um, Lidl. Do you remember that lady who scratched her bum crack and then picked up the bread and then put it back? <laughs> <laughs> it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Uh, it was a Lidl. You know, Lidl's got the bakeries in them. Does your little have yeah. a bakery? Yeah. yeah. So she stood there, and it was a hot summer's day, and she, like, scratched her back, but her hand went down a butt crack, and she sort of Ooh. scratched her butt crack, and she got her hand out, and with the same hand, picked up a loaf of bread, squeezed it, and then put it back and picked up another one. And I was just... Oh, oh was no. Like, oh. That's horrific. That's gipping. Bad, really bad. And then we bumped into the same woman another day, uh, and uh, we, just could, we could, didn't know what to say. <laughs> just like, that's the bum oh. bread lady. The stories yeah. I could tell you working in retail. I did, it's another world, isn't it? You see some characters, that's for sure. <laughs> is it really, Philip? It was horrific. It was, oh, even Lydia's grimmest. She was like, it was awful. Yeah, dirty. Absolutely filthy. I would say, who does that? And we don't even fact. deserve a roll on that comment, that's for sure. Ooh. Let's send shivers yeah. down my spine. Disgusting. So, retail that you work in, is it a supermarket kind of environment or is it clothes or is it? It's one, one of the large food and other things retailers. Ah, right. Okay. So, you really will see all sorts of stuff. So, I won't say which one because I could get in trouble. No, I, I don't blame you. I, 
I bet. I bet you. I bet. What's the funniest thing that's ever happened? Like where you just uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> oh, okay. This is horrendous. It was when I was a team leader. I was working down the milks and fats aisles. They're doing a, a redress, you know, moving where products are and whatnot. Me and my CDA, the chief display assistant, we looked to one side. There's an old lady pedaling a little trolley behind her. She stops for a minute, shakes her leg. Four nuggets of poo roll out. And she just walked on. She literally just walked away. She knew she'd done it. Oh, did you see again? You're kidding. What? <laughs> so, what did you do? You just, well, what can you do? <laughs> well, oh, for, for one moment, <laughs> we were in shock. And then, who had to clear her up? Oh, my gosh. Bloody muggins here. Oh, dude. That's horrendous. Gosh, I can't believe that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and she just carried on shopping, right? Oh, yeah. I, I do know wow. worse stories as well. I went to... Uh, I was in... Um, that was in actually in Lidl, and there was a lady, and she went through all the Tommy Tippy, um, all the Tommy Tippy baby bottles. Yeah. Because she wanted, so they came in a combination of like I think it was like green and blue, or pink and beige, or something like that. And so she opened all of these boxes to get one, and she took all the colours out to get one box of the one colour. So she destroyed all this stock that was there. So I, I was like, well, I can't. Somebody, that's not right. You can't do that. And now all of that stock has been touched. So then um, I, 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 start, I, I literally said, so oh, you need to she's, – she's opened all these and she's taken one colour. And I felt like a right tale tailor. But then when she got – she was mad as hell, mad as hell. She was <laughs> like, well, it should be in that, that colour. I was like, oh no, what have I started? What have I started? So they had to take it off her, take all the stuff away. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I say anything? But yeah, there you go. I just see it. I don't know. I think when you, you produce a product and you see somebody destroy stock and you think, gosh, I know how much that costs to get that mm. stock to that point. You know, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, that is the worst thing I've ever heard in a supermarket. Oh, that's rough. I can go one worse, but no. it's not really pre-watershed. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Oh, wow. It involved wow. breathing squad and a man who pleasured himself. In a supermarket? £8,000 worth of damage. <sighs> oh. <laughs> smokes. My daughter's just walked in. She's like, what are you doing? Oh, you're helping, are you? Okay. Right. No more watershed stories. <laughs> yeah, oh, my gosh. That's oh, that story. My gosh. That's horrific. What's wrong with these people? It must be mentally not right. Hey. Let's go, surely. <laughs> Oh, Paul's upset about that. He's not happy. He is not happy. Definitely not happy about that. Well, I'm not to blame. I don't eat meat. Uh, well, me. Well, me. And nothing to do with me at all. Oh, I made a little video, though. Uh, I can play it for you if you like, Chris. Uh, let me, uh, what's it called now? You'll like this. Uh, where did I put it? I'm so sorry, <laughs> guys. No. Uh... 
<laughs> That's horrendous. Oh no, gosh. Uh, oh no, where's it gone? Oh, don't say I deleted. Oh, there it is. Here we go. It needs sound put into it. But I thought this was kind of amusing. Uh, right, let me share this screen. That one. Not that. That. Not that. Where's it gone? There we go. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Giving you the solo right. screen. Yeah, go for it. Well, you need to share it on the. It'll say at the bottom. Um, I've I've put to share my screen. Can you see it, Chris? Are you there? I'm here. Right at I the can't... bottom. There should be a a thing showing me, but like a second version of me. Hold on. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Go to that. Oh, you're on a phone, aren't you? I'm on a phone. Shane's laptop's died. Oh, dear. This might be a bit of an anticlimax, to be honest. <laughs> It's just me abusing Paul, basically. I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah, it won't, it won't. I don't know why it won't put it in. Oh, that is just rough as. <laughs> that is just savage. <laughs> wow. I found a few in my store. And I've had a to few? clear them up. Yeah. <laughs> Is more than once? Many times. What's wrong with people? Like, where, where, My... at what point do you think, hey, you know what, I'm going to the supermarket, I might, I might continue to bake this one for a bit longer until I get there and then I'll, I'll just let one out whilst I'm doing my weekly chop. What's wrong with people? I have found some on the way to the toilets. Oh, well, fair so enough. Big pride. Disgusting. Oh, gosh. Phil's not having dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, uh, I'm just about to have some food and I'm thinking, what? I guess so. You get all sorts of people, don't you, in, in, those, in that environment? And you can't oh, yeah. stop them from coming in because they need, they need to eat. They need to buy food. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling that hungry now, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're getting cheese out as well? No. That's like. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, but we. I don't know. I feel like we should save a bit of cheese for. It's like. Eating all the Christmas stuff before we get there. Yeah, use that. Yeah. Well, do, can you hear this? I'm getting pep talk, and I'm not even the one making. I just can't take lumps of cheese all the time. <laughs> I love Philip's car. I don't know. I don't know, Philip. I'm never gonna go. I'm never gonna go shopping and think the same way. That is just rough as. Oh my so gosh! I'm my old lady down the milk aisle. Oh gosh, that is just unbelievable. Have you had these ones where they just kick off over something that they, they're trying to scam? Because we've had that. We had somebody uh, the other week say that they'd ordered beer and it had not arrived. And then I challenged them. I said, oh, what what order number was it? And they were like, yeah. kick it off for me. 
And I was like, look, I just need the order number details and I'll find out and I'll get another one sent out to you. Well, this is my address. No, I, I need your I need your details. Yeah. Well, and then I went, I was like, you've never ordered anything of us. I'm going to give you a terrible review if you don't send me out my order. I was like, well, if you haven't sent and bought anything, I can't. No, there's no abandoned cart or anything like that. I was like, if you've not done it, I, I don't know what to say. And anyway, um, never heard, I didn't hear anything from them once I challenged them on the details. But it's crazy, oh, isn't we, it? We, People yeah. um, the traditional Karen, they call it, don't they? Yeah. Um, 10 to 20 of them a day. A day? They're always fun, they are. No. How do you deal with that? Um, sarcasm, wit, anger, and hatred, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just, the, the uh, best one that we ever had was my deputy store manager was in the customer service desk at the time, and she happened to deal with this lady. I say lady in the most loose possible term. I want to speak to your manager. So my deputy store manager went, okay. She turned around, took her glasses off, and, hello, I'm a manager. How can I help? <laughs> <laughs> and what did she say? I bet she lost. I bet she lost it. <laughs> oh, she went volcanic. <laughs> I think sometimes that's what you get. Like I had someone the other day um, kick off. What it was right. So what's happened? We've had non-stop companies trying to sell us stuff all the time. Now I understand it. We're everyone's struggling. But once you've told somebody once or twice no, you kind of get to the point where, like, it's just it's just frustrating. Um, yeah. And this, you just, I actually worked out because I was getting LinkedIn notifications all the time. I mean, like five or six a day. P. Oh, hello. Uh, are you, I want to take some of your time. I've got a value proposition. Blah 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 blah. Usual stuff. And there's one little guy waffled on on, it, on this message, and I said, I, I don't know what you do. Oh, well, you know, you just need to have a – I just need a phone call, and I can tell you all about it. Yeah, but why can't you just tell me now what it is, and then I can make a decision? Because it might be unreal. Oh, no, I need to talk to you because uh, – and in the end, I was like, right, it's obviously something not that good because if you were going to tell me – you were gonna you were gonna put it in the chat because yeah. if it was that good, I'd want to know straight away. So it's probably your peddling snake or or some other crap. That's the word I used, and I got a rant like you wouldn't believe back at me. <laughs> in all my years of being on LinkedIn, I have never met someone so unprofessional. Blah blah blah. And it was probably was a bit unprofessional on my part. Uh, <laughs> I was like, off of a and then he said, I am going to report you to your director. And I went, go for it. <laughs> I am the director. <laughs> he was like, oh, well, you That's should be weird. reported. I was just like, oh, my God. Yeah, but you get it all the time. One, one company randomly racking, right? Racking, just, you know, shelves. Rang me. I said, no, we don't need any racking. They rang the brewery. Got Ben. He said, "No, we don't need any racking." He's the other. He's my brother-in-law director as well. They rang another day when Mike, our brewer, our second brewer, was there. Trigger he Mike. Said, I, I, uh, trigger Mike. And um, he said, "I we don't need any racking." Then he messaged me on LinkedIn again. Do you want some racking? And I, I was just like, "Look." Once are you are you actually having a laugh? Because I thought he was just having a wind up. I thought it was a joke. I was like, are you having a laugh? Like, this is not funny now. Constantly asking me if I need racket. And uh, and I said, it's very funny, but you can stop it with the jokes now. We, we you know. And then he was like, I'm not joking. <laughs> and I was like, oh, look, we don't want any racket. Please take us off your list. 
But yeah, they go mad, honestly. How do you just say, go away? You can't. Well, what I've discovered, I went, I was like getting hounded. I've found a way of blocking everyone. So they, they can see my post and see me, but they can't contact me. Yeah. Um, they can't add me as a connection or anything unless they're like premium or whatever. And even then, I don't, I don't take any notice. But oh man, it's just the best one. What I do now, they ring up and they go, Oh, uh, can I talk to the owner of the business? Go, yeah, I'm talking. Um, so I've got this blah blah blah, and I, and I go, Right, okay, just a quick question Do you want to buy any of our beer? And they're like, Uh, but no, no, no. I, I, do you buy beer from like any other local breweries? Well, well, no, no, I don't, I don't drink, and I'm like, All right, okay, I'm not interested. Bye, like that. And it's just the folk now. They're just if they're not, but like honestly, it's just I don't know what they think. I think we we're, we're like some big money pots. I just don't get it. It's all fishing, though, isn't it? Oh yeah, all the time. But even professional. I mean, you've got to talk to people to to get sales. I understand that. I used to do it, but if someone's really not interested, just leave them alone. Yeah. Just okay. if they don't want you to talk to you, they don't want to talk to you. My, my my dad had a fantastic phone call. Bear in mind, he's he's an old guy who works nights, so nine o'clock in the morning is not the best time to phone him. He's an old punk, and he's grumpy all the time. Oh, Mister Dawson, I understand you were in an accident recently. A what? A car accident? Oh, it must have been bloody bad because I forgot how to drive then. <laughs> <laughs> phone calls in the morning that's random isn't it you get that automated one hello yeah hello from it sounds like a proper like it's proper chavvy voice hello uh i understand you were involved in an accident and it's got all the pauses and then he's like i'll put you through to somebody and then you get some random call yeah. center somewhere yeah, it's funny. Oh, the, the the good trick that I find, I don't, if any of you in the in the in the chats have got any ideas, one of my favourite things to do to prank callers is they say, "Oh, is so and so there?" And you go, "No, I'll go and get them. Just wait there." And you put the phone on loudspeaker and you shout out, "Hey, is so and so there?" And then and then you go back and you go, "He's coming." And then you walk away and you, and you go, "Hang on, he stay right there. He's going to be with you in a minute." And you just keep him going, right? <laughs> It worked so well. I think my record is 45 minutes. <laughs> it's a challenge. You're wasting more phone money at the end of the day, aren't you? Well, th these guys were scammers as well, from what I can gather. Oh, mm. dinner is ready, Chris. I've got to go. All right, well, thanks for coming on, John. Oh, thanks for having me on. It's been a pleasure to see you. Handsome, As John. Good to see you, mate. Have a lovely weekend. What's left of it? What is left of it? I feel like I've worked all weekend, if I'm honest. So, uh, not today, but certainly yesterday. Right, bless you, mate. And to everybody in the comments, have a wonderful week and uh, keep going. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate you. Uh, with all the reviews that you do for us, don't do any bad ones. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and just no, I really appreciate it because it does, it has helped. Like all the beer reviewers that have reviewed our beers, it makes a massive difference to us. So, really appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much. And thank you for having me on. So, on that no, note, I shall you. see you all soon. Bless you. Right. Well, I think we've, uh, probably reached about the limit of what we're going to do today. I've got a pint and a half left. So thanks everyone for tuning in and I'll see you all again next time. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there. I'm happy drinking. <laughs>